because you're not using the metronome. But let's talk about that, though. What's up with y'all? Yo, good? Good. I'm Trenton Kipps. Welcome back to the channel, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, tapping in, vibing in, locking in, all that. Today's video is a direct response to this comment from Mastermind. He asked me if I could do a tutorial just on rhythm. So today we're not gonna focus on chords. We're not gonna focus on music, all rhythm, kind of music theory kind of thing. So we here, we locked in. When y'all start building your drums, one of the first things y'all should do, and I ain't telling y'all what to do. I'm telling y'all what I do. See this little button right here? Metronome. Right click, turn that to hi-hat. Now, if you're making music for the Western culture, I'm talking R&B, rap, hip hop, trap, blues, funk, you're gonna probably be in four, four time, four beats per measure. This is quarter notes. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, four two, three, four. That's quarter notes. You could cut that time in half and do eighth notes. One and two and three and four and 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 and you start over. And you could cut that up even further into sixteenth notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a now, why am I teaching y'all how to count? When you start building your drum, I ain't gonna say you. When I start building my drums, I start with my snare. Your snare is always gonna hit on a two and a four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now I'm counting in eighth notes. You can count in quarter notes. One, two, three, four. We call the numbers in that counting sequence, we call them the strong beats. So one, two, three, Four. Those are the strong beats. Those are the down beats. All the in betweens, the one and two and three, the ands, those are up beats. And then the sixteenth notes, one e and a two e and a three, even more um, up beats in there. Let's move on to the kick pattern. Now your kick usually gonna hit most of the times on the strong beats. Watch this. One, three, one, three, one, two, three, four, one. Now, filling up some of the weaker beats is where you get your bounce. To make that even more funky or bouncy, you want to play with your velocity. So some of these weaker beats, you want to turn the velocity down. I took the metronome off so y'all can see it. Now, let's look at the hi-hat. This is where it get crazy at. Because my kick and my snare is on the strong beats, right? They got that covered. I could really dance around that with my hi-hats. Now you can see here, I'm only doing eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Why is that grooving like that? These notes ain't on the grid, but I make it a point to hit the grid on the strong beats. You see my two? I'm on that grid. Between that, fuck that grid. I hit the three, I'm on that grid. Because what happens is we expect that strong beat. Once that's established, you could dance between that. <coughs> and let's just look at one more instrument or open hat. Every instrument I add from here is really for more bounce. They probably not going to be on the strong beats. One and two and three and four and 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 See how I'm playing in between the strong beats? That's the gist of it for real. But what I'm gonna show y'all here is how you could take the same metronome, the same BPM, and count it in different ways to get different bounces. We're gonna start here with the simple drum groove that we just looked at. Like the hats is kind of dragging behind a little bit. Even the kick. All right, let's take a look at another pattern and I'm just counting it a little bit different. Metronome, one and two and Three and four and one and two and three and four and that's a simple trick you could use to just come up with a whole different bounce. Now let's look at the kick. Starting off on a strong beat. One and two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and 
four and one and two and three and four and one. It's a lot of the ends, and that's giving this this extra bounce. Now let's look at the hi hats for this. With this pattern, the hats is all on the grid, all of them. Something mean, right? It it it's not swinging like the rest of the instruments, right? So let's watch this. Taking that same kick pattern, the same snare, and I'm just dancing with the hi hats. Now I'm starting to fill up some of those weaker beats with more notes. More bounce. You gotta play with the velocities. Your velocities gotta be, they gotta be alive. That to me is why the metronome is so important. It establishes the grids. But once you know where the grids is at, you could dance around it and come back to it when you need to. With this, I'm establishing the strong beats. Now what this does is this makes the strong beats even stronger because everything is collapsing on the numbers. One and two and three and four and one and two. It makes those down beats even more impactful. For this last pattern, exactly what I've been showing y'all so far. One and two and three and four and 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 you see with the snare I'm still hitting the strong beats, but I'm also hitting that end for a little bit more bounce. Now with the kick, same rules apply. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and so on the kick, I'm hitting the one and the three real hard. But in between that, though, there's some ends I'm hitting too. Now let's look at the hi-hats for this one. Way off the grid. Look at this shit. Way off. Way off. Way off. Way off. But check it, though. Look at the number. On that, bitch. On that. On that. On that. That shit grooving hard as fuck. Basically, turn that metronome on, dog. You're going to come up with some crazy bounces, even with the simplest patterns. Y'all see what I'm doing here. Four instruments, bro. And it's grooving. You put some ninth chord, some 13th behind that. Is gonna go crazy, trust. You know, I'm gonna sell y'all no bullshit on here. So, Master Ma, hope that answers your question. I hope somebody else learned something from this too. Let me know what else y'all wanna see. I forgot who it was, but I know you had a comment about making an Isaiah Rashad beat. That's coming up next. And then, whatever y'all wanna see, I'm gonna do after that. As always, appreciate y'all for tuning in, tapping in with the kid. Y'all always show love. I appreciate that. So, if you got any more questions, hit the comments, hit me on socials. Um, I'm going to see y'all soon. Love.